So how did you start making objects out of those branded materials? Because that that's how I first saw your work and, and the, the Chanel and Hermé and the objects that were made out of those, those materials. Yeah, I, I think it was a time a little bit like now, um, 96, where I had a lot less resources. I certainly didn't have a dozen studio assistants and um, a following on Instagram of a quarter million people tuning in to see what, you know, navel gazing I'm up to. Um, but um, it's the same in, in that there were, I had a lot, my resources are much more limited as they are today. And so we're forced to, make do with what we got and i remember the, the the base of that sculpture i made out of fedex packaging because i i learned that not only was fedex packaging free you could just walk in any fedex and take whatever you wanted but if you called them because we didn't have email then they'd send you whatever you wanted so i made all these things out of fedex packaging and i know it's just cardboard but it had an adhesive strip and it was all the same size and it was clean and new so i could make whatever i wanted i i basically made Francuzis and each element, you know, each 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 face of of uh, those um, cuboids is is you know it's consistent. So I just I made it to the largest size of a FedEx package. So that like that generated the um the size of of the of the column, the the width of it anyway. And I don't know if that was clear, but basically the size of the box informed the final sculpture and. Um, I was just making all kinds of things out of hot glue guns. You know, I made a uh, Hermes hand grenade, a Tiffany Glock, and it was all things that I was struggling to come to terms with. Um, these are objects that, in some way, I wanted to possess or or, or come to terms with. I mean, to make a model, uh, to make a a, shr a sculpture of a weapon of mass destruction, a bricolaged, yeah. A, 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 a truck filled with fertilizer as, as an explosive um, was, is, is kind of like a, a object of infamy. It was a, it was this terrible disaster that captivated us. And in, and in a way it's, it, it seems almost every month there's some crazy white guy killing a bunch of people for no reason that he can explain other than he's probably just not getting laid or misunderstood or whatever like it's never people of color and 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 i mean we just had one last month in canada right didn't we or mm -hmm. th three weeks ago a giant one mm -hmm. so i mean it's more and more commonplace i don't really understand what it means um but uh, you know um i i think the the thing that's interesting to me regardless of the politics of that is is obsessing about um things that you can control like you can't control something like that and i was really uh, uh, bewildered by that disaster but so i but what i could control was obsessing about um a rider truck and going to u-haul and like doing taking photographs and drawing them and learning and building a model of it and and, and through that making uh, the making itself becomes a meditation. <music>